The Oilers have done it again. Another dud of a game. And it's one where if you look at the stats and you look at the score sheet, you're going to be like, hey, look at that, eh? He scored four goals. Evan Bouchard had three points, a goal and two assists. And he had started the entire ordeal by unleashing a bomb of a slap shot in the first minute of the game. That's great. Evan Bouchard is having a great season, and he's a guy that you can trust to come out there and produce offense. But, as is the case with offensive defensemen that sometimes can get a little bit too pressed up in only offense, you get situations like these. Because Evan Bouchard has eight points in six games played for the Oilers right now, over a point per game, he is on pace for literally a hundred points. Talk about being the first defenseman since last year to be able to get that mark. But if you go over to the results and the Oilers subreddit, there are some very interesting comments made about Bouchard in this Minnesota game. Now, here's the thing. The Oilers lost 7-4. We already talked about that. The Oilers have been great at giving us a new surprise at every turn, because where we thought this team was going to be a cup contender, you know, everybody says cup or bust this year for the Oilers, cup or bust, Leon Dreisaitl, Connor McDavid, they've got to earn it this time. Even though this team has had that label attached to them, they just haven't been good. They are near the bottom of the entire NHL right now, and I think they're 31st, actually. Let's take a look at that. The Oilers have... What is that? Three points in six games played. And yeah, they have fewer points than the Blackhawks, fewer points than the Sabres, same amount of points as the Capitals. They're doing it in one more game, too. So they are literally 31st in the NHL. The only worst team is San Jose. And losing out on Connor McDavid doesn't help. But hey, that's no biggie, right? I mean, Connor McDavid is Connor McDavid. They have won without him in the past. Leon Dreisaitl had that Art Ross winning year when McDavid was absent. So this team on paper, if you wanted to say they are a cup contender, they should be able to compete and should be able to do well without McDavid, right? Well, here's the thing. Even when McDavid was in the lineup, they still got smoked by Vancouver 8-1 in their first game of the season, and then they lost again. So this team has been absolutely crapping the bed to start out the year. And there is a very interesting scapegoat that a lot of Oilers fans in their subreddit are pointing out. That same Evan Bouchard that we had talked about. Now here's the thing, he's an offensive defenseman who is producing points and he's on pace for 109 points, which is awesome, but here are some of the comments made on the Oilers sub. Evan Bouchard is at fault for four goals tonight. Bro cannot play defense. He owes Campbell more than a few dinners. The reply here says, he lost us that game. We should trade him while he still has value. Anyone can be defense on our own power play. We literally don't need him. There's another reply that says, his brain is so off when it comes to defense, it's scary. He's going to troll the entire season, and if they make the playoffs, just like the previous years where he was doing brain-dead pinches, screening his own goalie, getting torched on the forecheck, being clueless and soft, anyone who thinks the dude is an NHL defender is out of their mind. He's like sub AHLer on the back end. And here's the thing with Evan Bouchard and the way he plays the game. This perspective is not really new. It's one that I actually brought up a few years ago in 2018, when the guy was draft eligible, and it's something that I sort of retconned a little bit. If you don't know, I'm a Canucks fan, and back in the 2018 draft, there was this idea going around saying that the Vancouver Canucks wanted to draft a right-handed defenseman, and the two that were available in that time frame were Evan Bouchard and Noah Dobson. Two guys, CHL players, big dudes, and there were reports going around saying, hey, the Canucks could draft Dobson, the Canucks could draft Bouchard. And I personally was against it. I made multiple videos saying, hey, I want the Canucks to get Wallstrom. I'd like the Canucks to get Quinn Hughes if he's available. If Boquist is there, get him. But not Bouchard. Particularly not Bouchard. Because in Bouchard's draft-eligible year, sure, the guy was able to produce offense like crazy. He could slow the game down in the offensive zone. He had a bomb of a slap shot. He could make plays, and he could get points. But the problem was everything outside the offensive zone Bouchard struggled at. He was slow. His defensive engagement, the back-checking was not there. In his own end, he was lazy. These were things that I thought were so prevalent in Bouchard's game in 2018 that I did make a video saying, hey, here are my concerns with the guy. And back then, 
in 2018, you know, everybody wants to be excited for prospects. Oilers fans want to defend their guy. It's understandable that in the comment section of these videos, y'all were kind of roasting me. Lego, what are you talking about? This guy's 18. Like, he's going to get better as his career goes on. Well, guess what? Bouchard is now 24 years old. And he's in a position where he is the top power play quarterback on an Edmonton Oilers squad that boasts the likes of Leon Dreisaitl and Ryan Nugent Hopkins and supposedly Connor McDavid. And Bouchard is doing the same thing. He's getting points. He is scoring goals and he's making himself look very good on the score sheet. But when you watch the way the Minnesota Wild are able to get their seven goals, Evan Bouchard is involved in so many of these plays, either by making a bad pinch or chasing the guy down in his own zone to an unreasonable extent or he's blocking off his goalie or screening his own goalie, it is not good. And he is one of many cogs in the machine that is the Edmonton Oilers that is not really going out there and living up to their expectations. You can make a bunch of videos about Evander Kane, you could talk about the depth of the team, McDavid, you could talk about a bunch of things. Goaltending, we had already made a few videos about that, but Evan Bouchard seems to be the main guy that everybody's talking about now. Because if you go down in this post-game thread in the Oilers sub, not only are there three comments talking about Evan Bouchard, there are even more. Here's another comment from Keo22. Evan Bouchard might be one of the worst defensemen in the league. Five out of seven goals were Bouchard making extremely questionable decisions, but he's going to end the night with three points. Smehe goes out there and says this, Bouchard's 100 power play points don't mean anything if he can't play actual defense. It would be fine if he could play sheltered 5v5 minutes and just be a power play specialist, but we're not deep enough on defense to do that. I haven't seen a start this bad since the Decade of Darkness. I'm not sure what you do about Bouchard, but he's unplayable right now, costing us games single-handedly. This is the game that has me turning on Jay Woodcroft. Why he didn't bench Bouchard after any of the gaffes is inexcusable, especially when you dress seven defensemen. Broberg needs to play, and I've seen nothing that doesn't warrant more minutes than what he is getting. And so, for Evan Bouchard, just in totality, I'm not going to go out there and say that this season, after six games, is going to be the be-all and end-all. I'm also not going to go out there and say that at the end of the season, he's going to have 100 points. But... I will say that the problems that y'all are experiencing with this guy are not particularly new. And there is video evidence from a few years ago, 2018, where some of these same things were talked about. And I just wanted to bring that up, and I wanted to say, hey, maybe I wasn't wrong after all. You know, I did make a few videos over the years saying, yeah, I was wrong. Like, I'm not afraid to admit that the assessment that I had of a player where I thought he wouldn't be able to translate was incorrect. Hey, he's in the NHL, he's producing points, he's number one power play quarterback, that's great. Good for him. But now, in 23-24, when the sky is falling, when everything is looking bad for a cup or bus team that's looking a lot more like a bus than a cup contender, these are the problems, and these are the same things that we had talked about five years ago. So, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you feel about Evan Bouchard and the way that he's played so far for the Oilers? He's been producing points. He's doing all right in that department. But Oilers fans are turning on this guy like there's no tomorrow. And I could pick out a whole bunch more examples on social medias that are not even Reddit. You could go to Twitter. You can go to Facebook. You can just search up Bouchard and see what a bunch of Oilers fans are saying because it's not pretty. Not really the expectation you would have seen out of a guy who's on pace for 100 points and who had three points in the game last night, but hey, fan sentiment seems to be through the roof on the negative side. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Evan Bouchard. I hope you enjoyed this Vrishash Rolls 99. And bye.